Hello and welcome to our school. This has been an interesting year to say the least. We live in uncertain times, but I am extremely proud of how the Banavalum community has responded. We still have that commitment to do the very best for our students, and our intention is to retain our broad curriculum, which will enable our students to prosper and thrive and make the correct step at the end of their year 11. We want to support our students during this difficult time, and therefore, the fundamental aims of the school remain the same. Banavalum School is proud to be part of the Horncastle Education Trust. This is a local trust comprising of ourselves, Queggs and Horncastle and Frithville and New York Primary Schools. The joy and beauty of this is that we are a local trust able to respond and deliver for the students of Horncastle and the surrounding areas. However, practicalities first. If you're applying for secondary schools in Lincolnshire, then you must apply through the Lincolnshire County Council website. It is not a given that if you have sat the 11 plus or if you are at the local primary that you will automatically be entered into the admissions process. You must apply via Lincolnshire County Council. The deadline for applications is the 31st of October this year. I know how you're feeling. And the reason I know how you're feeling is my daughter has just started at year seven. So you're sitting there asking yourself, where have the last six years gone? Have we made the right choice? Will they fit in? Will they make friends? Will they cope with the workload? And will they be okay? Now I can answer all of those, most of them very simply, one of them not so sure. So where have the last six years gone? I haven't got a clue, but I can answer yes to all the other questions. If you choose Banavalum, you will have made the right choice. Your children will fit into the school, they will make friends, they will cope with the workload, and they'll be more than okay. They will thrive and be very successful as part of our school community. Central to that is this ethos that it is a team. And we saw that during lockdown and we've seen that during various other instances over the last three or four years where the school community has risen to the challenge that it's faced. What does Banavalum mean to me? Well, Banavalum, I feel, is a warm, inclusive and happy community. We have a staff with a strong moral purpose, committed to securing the best possible outcomes for all the students. Strong partnerships between staff, parents and students. High standards of behaviour, uniform and manners. And at its core, a school at the heart of its local community. Don't just take our word for it. When we were recently Ofsteaded, these were some of the comments that the Ofsted inspectors made. What do we expect from our students? Well, we expect a strong work ethic. We want them to attend school and be punctual. Embrace the learning culture in the school, both inside and outside of the classroom. Most importantly, be prepared to fail and make mistakes. That's how we learn best. And the last two are particularly important. Good manners and a smart appearance. I have three core principles and these apply to my own children as much as the students in Banavalum. I really want them to be polite and respectful, work hard and try their best. If we do that, everything else falls into place. I want you to be the best you can be at Banavalum. And if you aim, aspire, you will achieve. So by the end of this video, I hope that you agree with me that we are welcoming and inclusive. You can see that there's a strong bond between the staff and the students and we have a high standards of behaviour, uniform and manners. I think I would define Banavalum in one sentence as, a, as one of community. I believe that we are part of the local Horncastle community and uh, we play a big part in that, but also the community within the school. It's a very, very supportive. Uh, students get a huge amount of support from the, the teaching staff and from all the other staff. Every member of staff in the school is committed to achieving the best outcomes for the students. If you ever had something to talk about, any, any problems like inside of school or out, there's always somebody there to talk to you and they always have your best interests at heart 
and they'll always just try and help the best they can. Uh, everybody gets along well and it's all very safe. There's never normally any problems and it's just all round happy. In English, I'd say that first and foremost, the students really enjoy their learning. Um, we do focus on mistake making as part of that process so that students can learn from each other um, and learn how to avoid making common mistakes when working on something in the future. We currently use the EDUCAS exam board for GCSE and we spend our key stage three time ensuring that students are ready for that in terms of building the skills that are required for both English literature and English language as well. In year seven and eight we have a thematic approach to learning. Um, we take four big topics a year um, covering things like monsters, heroes and villains and then look at how that translates into a wide range of literature and language texts as well, again with the focus on building skills for their future learning at GCSE. So offering a wide broad curriculum is a core value of this school. Now many schools cut back on option subjects due to funding mainly. We have actually invested in the creative and design subjects which has ensured that our students have the opportunity to excel, to progress, contribute to some of the UK's highest grossing and fastest growing employment sectors. We recognise the effort and commitment put in by the students. Our aim as professionals is to ensure that every student leaves the school building with that satisfactory smile on their face knowing that they've achieved something every day. In P. Banavallam School, we get the students to think about five different areas. The first is thinking, so how they use uh, their mental capacity, making decisions in terms of tactics and evaluating um, what they've learnt. They also, we look at the physical aspects, so anything to do with, with movement and physical literacy. Um, obviously being healthy, so healthy behaviour and attitudes. Um, and the social side, so looking at communication, teamwork and leadership. And the final aspect is about them personally, so how they manage emotions, uh, their behaviour and looking at their self-esteem. Uh, we cover quite a lot of the traditional sports, so things like uh, rugby, football, netball um, and some of the individual sports such as tennis and table tennis and badminton. We also cover dance and athletics, gymnastics and lots of different fitness activities. The students get quite a broad and balanced curriculum offer. Um, we also try to be inclusive for those students so we can offer alternative activities um, for those that need that. So the style of learning in maths at Banavallam is very much focused on teacher delivery with student response and a fantastic uh, coming together of ideas in which students develop their mathematical understanding, then through their fluency and mastery, develop onto uh, excelling with all areas of maths, uh, in including algebra, number, uh, data and shape. Within our uh, SEN department, we have uh, a county-wide reputation as providing excellence in that, uh, in that sphere. A number of our SEN students go on and uh, achieve better than the targets um, that were set uh, at the end of Key Stage 2, so we are very, very proud of that. And then the broader nature of the school provides a, a very supportive um, atmosphere. We have three highly committed student support workers who are there not just to help with behaviour problems but also to help with pastoral and social emotional problems as well. So we, we feel that we offer a pretty unique uh, support network for our students. Outstanding. Magnificent. Supportive. I would say amazing because it doesn't like give you the kind of work that you would be expecting. Like you might think when you come here, oh no, I'm going to have loads of homework. But you want to do it because it's fun and you like what you do. All the teachers help you achieve your goals in school. You just get great learning support and 
you can just really excel in what you want to do because it's such a great school. Everybody feels nervous about answering in class sometimes, but there's no need to be. It's really important that classrooms are safe places to get things right, but also to make mistakes because sometimes that's where we do our best learning. Um, you've got your form tutor that you can talk to in the morning, who, who's the first person that will see you. Um, failing that, student support is manned throughout the day. There's um, four members of staff that work within student support, so there's always somebody available to you. We, we don't tolerate bullying at Balavanum School, um, but we do have the student support team who would investigate that and support you with it, and obviously put appropriate consequences in place should we feel the need to. Well, in the first instance, you speak to your form tutor when you come back to school. Um, the bus journey can be quite daunting, particularly if you're travelling from a long distance, but you soon make friends there and it becomes quite a nice part of the day either to and from school. OK, so when we get the information from primary schools, we, we endeavour to make sure that you are in teaching groups and form groups with at least two or three of, uh, of people from your primary school and your friendship groups. Uh, primary school and, uh, teachers do let us know which people are good to work with, um, but that's not always always the case. Sometimes that we, we can't fit other people in, into teaching groups. What we do say is give it an op opportunity to meet new friends, give it a, a chance for the first half term to see how things settle and how things um, fit in with the, the new people you're meeting. There are approximately 125 students in each year group. What you've got to think that that is 124 extra new friends. Okay, there's a, an increased um, usage of uh, online material and, and use of mobile phones when students become uh, secondary school students. Um, if there are situations where somebody is making inappropriate comments or unpleasant comments to you, there's multiple ways of, of dealing with that. And most social media sites have, have um, C-Ops, uh, which is a button, a red button, um, and if the students, the, they click on that and then that alerts relevant people that there's an issue um, on that site. What we do say from a school's point of view that if you take screenshots of anything that's, that's happened, report it to your parents um, and then when you do come into school, if, if that incident then um, carries on in school, making sure that you're reporting to student support or, or to your form tutor. Well, the free school meal system works very differently here. Um, what happens is no one knows that you're free school meals. It comes in registered to your name and you use your finger simply to identify yourself. So it's not a problem and I'm an ex-free school meals kid myself. In um, your planner you do have a map of the school which you can use to help you find your way around and um, also within student support again just come to us and we'll direct you and um, we can give you extra tours of the school as well just to make you feel more comfortable and um, but there's always staff that can help you around on, or go to main reception. These things happen um, it could be that the, the bus is late um, of which case we will know if you're driving to school and your parents can let us know as long as it's safe to do so that's absolutely fine but these things happen and particularly teachers expect this in the first couple of weeks when you're trying to find your way around but don't worry ask for help and people will get you to the right place at the right time you have a timetable on you uh, you also have a printed copy and in the inside of your blazer is a zipped pocket so pop your timetable in there and then you always know where to go. The other thing, if you do get lost, ask someone. We're all friendly, whether it's a student or staff, and if there's nobody around, go to reception. The 
the year 10s and 11s are often a lot taller, a lot taller than me, and sometimes it can be quite intimidating. They're not there to, you know, that's not, not what they are. They are there to, to support you. And actually, uh, the majority of our peer mentors, anti-bullying ambassadors, uh, uh, our year 10s and 11s, the older students who've got a lot more experience. So they are there to support you. If you do feel uh, uncomfortable, then then please speak speak to somebody about it. What we don't want you to do is to go home feeling uncomfortable and not have shared that information with a member of staff. We would encourage to visit student support so we're able to talk to them about their personal issue if they choose to do so. Um, we can look at kind of giving them a timeout card or a discreet pass. We would advise as to different things that they could do, different strategies that they could try. Um, again, the timeout card is a really good um, resource to use because that gives them access to student support any time that they feel they need to. We'll help you in two ways with remembering what homework you have. The first is that in class, you'll record that in your student planner. The second is that we will record the homework on ePraise, which is our electronic system, which will be accessible by you and your parents, so you can have help at home as well. They can go to student support, but also they can go to main reception. Um, there is um, a page in your planner where you can sign to have paracetamol in school as well. We do have a medical room as well, which is used um, should you need to. All else fails would call home and ask you, for you to be collected. If you get too much homework or you're feeling overwhelmed, it's really important to talk to someone. That could be your tutor, it could be your teacher, it could be that you speak to parents at home. Of course we want everyone to try, but sometimes trying hard but knowing when to stop is really, really important. <laughs>